but it's all right here now. It's all right here now. St. Anne's was established uh, in 1937. They're celebrating the 75th year this year. The biggest win would have been the, the winning of, at senior level, would have been um, the AIB Cup. Um, we've had many successes among all of the teams at juvenile level. I suppose the highlight one of them would have been the minor, which is under 18. Uh, they won the championship, um, which is, was fantastic for them. Uh, at at uh, under 14, they won the Fela, uh, and also won the league. And I think the 10s, 11s, and 12s won the league, which argues well for the future. As such, you know. Well, St. Anne's wasn't always that big. It, we started uh, from very humble beginnings, and uh, the reason why uh, we're, we are big now, um, I suppose, we started with one team in back in 1937, and now. We have teams at every age group. We have a nursery with about 60 children in it. And then beyond that, we have a team in football from under eight all the way up. So our membership is um, probably in the region of 300 uh, playing members and another 300 um, adult full members. I suppose what sets us apart is the fact that we have so, so many fantastic volunteers. It's all the same in the end. We're all the same in the end. There's ourselves, the Quicksand Band, there's Fear of Folk, uh, Liz is Evil, our band who come from Tala, and I'm trying to think, I Am a Car Crash as well. So there's a lot of bands, and I think. Uh, the, the, the sessions that go on across the road there in the square and in the, in the uh, Captain America's every Friday is giving young bands a real, I suppose it's a, it's, it's, it's a platform to showcase their and to develop their live, their live performances. Okay, the Quicksand Band was formed about six years ago. Uh, I'd, I'd written a bunch of songs basically myself uh, as a singer-songwriter and I got a few friends of mine together to, to basically help me demo the songs. And then we realised that we worked very well as a band, so in the intervening couple of years between then and our first kind of release, we decided to, to call ourselves rather than, we used to be just in core in the Quicksand Band, but then we became the Quicksand Band and we released our, our, our first EP. We, we would have a good local following, a lot, of, a lot of people have known us through the years because we were in other bands as well. Um, but we're, we're, what we're looking at is, is that spreading out across Dublin and, and across Ireland, which is great. And, the great thing about YouTube and, and, and a lot of the social networking sites now is you can see how your fan base is growing nationally and internationally because you can get feedback on, on where your hits are coming from. So we're noticing a big spread across, across Ireland and actually even a few across the water. So that's, that's great. Um, I currently manage um, an under 14s team and an under 17s team. Um, that keeps me quite busy on the weekends, Saturdays, Sundays. We also do an academy on a Tuesday night up in St. Mark's in Springfield. Um, 250 kids come through in a roughly four hour block, so that keeps me fairly busy. Um, we also have an incentive in the local schools where we take PE classes, just a, a football. I think it's important to get involved in the youth coaching because there's, there's so much in the streets and tell it to detour the kids and send them up wrong anyways. At least if they're involved in sport, it's keeping them off the streets, it's keeping them active and they enjoy it as well. I think it gives them a, a life plan if they get involved in sports. Um, you know, there's no reason why they can't get involved in, in, in football, say, at a young age and carry their on through their life and stay involved in sport for the rest of their life. So it gives them a good goal going forward, I think, you know. And we're constantly looking for volunteers. Um, the door's never closed for people coming in to help out. Um, our, seven, our under sevens, our under eights, they never, we never really have coaches for that, that age group. So we encourage parents to try and get involved if they have their kids playing for the club. So it, it breeds it again, you know. Well, this week actually is the third anniversary of uh, Tallis Stadium being our home. Uh, the first match was the 13th of March 2009 against Sligo Rovers. Um, this is a municipal facility and Shamrock Rovers are the anchor tenants, so there is other, some other events as well that takes place throughout the year. Well, we're lucky enough that uh, we have 
a relatively new stadium. Uh, we're in uh, a highly populous area. Um, we're the most successful club in the country. Um, Tala and Shamrock Rovers have worked very well and uh, probably a marriage made in heaven um, since 2009. And what we bring to the area is uh, football matches every second week and for an outlet for families and uh, adults and kids to, to come. Since 2009, the stadium has been broadcast all over the world. Uh, I think 100 million people watched the Real Madrid game all around the world, uh, with Europa League happening as well, and also uh, the Juventus matches. And also around nationwide, around the country, people see um, a beautiful stadium, lovely backdrop, um, full uh, every second or third week on, on TV. Uh, also, what it brings to the area is a lot of valuable income. Uh, to surrounding businesses, uh, transport, the square. So all in all, it's, uh, the stadium is a massive asset to the community.